most of them are uh, authors of books that influence our views. And uh, specifically, I could uh, mention uh, 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 Theo Colburn and uh, probably the, the, the most influential of all of them have been Rachel Carson. Before Rachel Carson, there were other uh, people who spoke about the environment, but none of them, uh, in my view, uh, had the impact of Rachel Carson. Probably because before she was a scientist, she was a very good writer. Now, uh, that is as far as I can say regarding mentors, intellectual okay. mentors. The, in that regard, I can say that the, the book by uh, Rachel Carson and the, the, the one uh, by uh, Theo Corburn, uh, Diane Dubanovsky, and uh, Pete Myers, uh, uh, Our Story in the Future, that is a, a very good book that uh, reflects what was known in the mid 1990s and uh, influence a lot of people. Uh, I think that that is a book that I would strongly recommend. There is a very good book that has published recently. Uh, the author is um, Scott Gilbert. Uh, that deals with the impact of uh, ecological, uh, uh, environmental, uh, developmental biology. I think the, the title is Eco Ecological Environmental Biology. I think that the one that we just published in Nature Reviews and Endocrinology is the one that is a compendium of a lot of information and of our contribution as well as our ideas about how uh, environmental uh, pollution could affect uh, carcinogenesis. In other words, the, 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 the uh, generation of cancers. There are several ones. Uh, the one that uh, comes uh, to mind because of its activism is Greenpeace, of course. Then uh, there are a number of uh, uh, organizations that are active in the field of cancer, and uh, they are in, in uh, 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 cancer action in the West Coast. Uh, Barbara Brenner is one of the persons who I admire the most precisely because she speaks very clearly about what is wrong in, in the way we are approaching the subject of cancer and the causes of cancer. And in the area, he, it, 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 that organization has several uh, um, sister organizations, some of them here in the uh, Massachusetts area. And in New York, there is a group at uh, the Long Island, in, in Long Island, the Great Neck uh, Active Cancer Coalition, I think it's called. Theo Colborn. Theo Colborn is the mother of us all because she is the first one that grasped the problem in its integrity. And uh, I think she's 
the mother of endocrine disruption. Uh, Our Stolen Future. That is a great book. It was written by Theo Colborn with uh, Pete Myers and Diane Dumanowski, and it has a uh, preface by Vice President uh, Gore. And I think that although it was published in 97, I think it's still central and it, uh, it's very well written. Well, there is another book that uh, is the mother of all books on <laughs> environment, that is Rachel Carlson. But, and I think that we should read that too. Uh, Silent Spring is fundamental. But if you are talking about endocrine disruptors, our stolen future. I think that uh, there are several papers that are very relevant, and we just wrote one of those in which we tried to put together endocrine disruptors and cancer that we published in uh, uh, Nature Endocrine Reviews. But I think that uh, probably the, uh, the um, endocrine society statement is very important because it covers all aspects of endocrine disruption and also the uh, Chapel Hill statement and uh, that was published in 96 where everyone that worked on bisphenol A was there and it's four papers uh, dealing with different issues of bisphenol A toxicity and a statement that clearly indicates that there is a parallel between what we are seeing in humans without knowing what causes it and what we are seeing in rodents that is caused by BPA. Well, the thing I'm, I feel most proud about is our book, The Society of Cells. That is uh, up to now the thing that I love the most that I have written partnership with Carlson Chang. There are several. I like very much the uh, um, Breast Cancer Fund and Breast Cancer Action, both from San Francisco. They are very active. They they publish together uh, an uh, early uh, uh, book called, or actually it's a long article, State of the Evidence, that talks about what we know about breast cancer. And they do an excellent job uh, in informing the public about what's going on, but also trying to get legislation about protecting people against uh, uh, the use exposure to these chemicals. That is on the one hand. Then there is this other group, uh, the Great Neck uh, um, uh, Breast Cancer uh, Association that send us students, high school students, for five years now because they are intent to get young people to be educated about the role of the environment and so they get to know how we investigate, we investigate the role of these chemicals. And of course, Greenpeace. Well, Sandra Stein Grabber's uh, Living Up Downstream is one. Uh, and then in this scientific or academic uh, realm, I think that uh, Scott Gilbert's book uh, on environmental developmental biology is a must because it's putting together everything that we know about developmental biology and environment, including endocrine disruptors, but also how in normal life our phenotype is not dictated by genes, it's dictated by many things, among them the environment.